There he is! Hello friends, my name is Brandon Date and I'm your humble narrator. Welcome to the Elder Scrolls Legends. Today, we're actually going to do a little bit of fighting. I opened some card packs in my last video. If you want to see that, it is in the playlist. I think I'll also toss that in the description. If I forget, please let me know. But let's uh, have a look at the decks that I've made thus far. And I don't think I've uh, featured any of the cards that I got in my pack in this Monk deck. Because it already is pretty solid. But this is the one that we're going to be playing with today. I call it the Shadow Monk, or the Spider Monkey. Yeah, Spider Monkey. Shadow Spider Monkey. That's what I call it, sure. Um, so we've got Arrow in the Knee, Chain Hall Stapper, Voracious Spriggan. Get that drain nice and early in the game. Keep your health nice and high. Daring Cut First, of course, is really, really nice if you can play it early. Elixir of Light Feet will come into play a little bit later, as will MBC Disguise. Fighter's Guild Recruit, that's just a great card. Let me tell you that. Finish Off helps a lot with Arrow in the Knee and things like that. Gloom Lurker will also come into play a little bit later. We've got Kavach Soldiers, very nice endurance uh, guards. Murkwater Witch also helps with the finish off. East March Crusader, once you start slamming your enemy, those extra cards, keeping yourself afloat is really, really nice. Giant Bat, a little more drain. Rajini Hyman, Highwayman, <laughs> Hyman. Um, yeah, 2-2 two -two with a Pilfer that draws a card, so again, just keeping your hands nice and stocked. I find that is the key to victory in a lot of cases. You can keep on playing cards, but you always have something else to play. Uh, Oridon Paladin, I play a lot of moves and things like that, action cards, and he gains uh, drain every time you play an action card, so that is really, really helpful. Hive Defender, nice strong guard. I've got two Divine Fervors, which if you get both of these out on the field, that's pretty much game. Leaf Lurker is finish off in the form of a card. I might be replacing these at some point, but they serve me pretty well. Of course, you need the Piercing Javelins anytime you're going to play an Endurance deck. That is a good idea. Golden Saints, that is where the Drain comes in. You want to get these out there and have higher health than your opponent. Night Prowler, that's where all the Stealth cards come in. Again, keep getting cards into your hands. That is really, really important. Praetorian Commander stacks with the uh, Divine Fervor. So you can get plus three, plus three on all of your creatures, which is just absolutely insane. I think we got uh, Sails Through Storms. Pilfers, Pilfer summons the top creature of your deck. Unfortunately, I can only have one of these. I would love to have three of them. Uh, but when it pops up, it's really, really helpful. Shearpoint Dragon, really nice. Minus two, minus two. It also buffs the Murkwater Witches. So that is why that has made it into the deck. Charu's Reaper is also buffed by uh, Shearpoint Dragon. So that's super nice. Spider's Lair. Once you get those two um, Divine Fervors out on the field, all of your spiders are going to be 3-3s, three and they can quickly overwhelm your opponent. And then our final high-cost card, the Manticora, which I talked about briefly in my uh, pack opening video. I really like this card. So, that is the deck. That is what we are going to do. We're going to try and slam some people in the face. You know how it go. Let us see what we can find for opponents of the monk deck. The monk deck al always performs relatively well. It's not ever been swept away completely like some of the uh, default decks that I was given. So I really like it mostly because it's one of the first decks that I built. Wow, where'd you get those satanic card backs, bro? That's pretty nice. I paid $5 so I could show my allegiance to Satan. Wow, that's, that's great. I still got the plain ass card backs. I'm gonna get rid of arrow in the knee. And... and Giant Bat, I guess. No, I'll keep Giant Bat. That's fine. That's fine! Night Prowler's out here now. Ah, oh boy. That's a really high-cost card. I'm not gonna be playing that anytime soon. That's alright. We'll see how it goes. I'll just pass my first turn, and my second turn. And then on the third turn, maybe I'll play something. Which would be, uh, really nice. Really nice if he's not all set up on the board already, which probably he will be. I have uh, very little luck with those early game draws, mostly because I want to keep things that are like around three. I'm like, oh, three costs. This is going to be just fine at the beginning of the game. No, it's not. <laughs> Sometimes your opponent will have a little mercy and pass the turn because you're passing the turn. Or maybe he doesn't have something to play, for real. <clears throat> There's a, a random Atronarch in his hand now. So that's not very nice. Oh, and look, here's the one cost card. Thank you so much. I, I appreciate that a lot. I'll send out the giant bat. 
that's going to be good. Hold down that field lane, which is extremely important. You know, uh, things can set up in the shadow lane, kind of. But in the field lane, nothing gets cover, so as soon as you send it in, it's eligible to be attacked. It's really, really nice to uh, control the field lane. But shadow lane is a little harder to do so. Um, yeah. It doesn't seem like he's really got much up his sleeves. He just ice spiked me. What else you got, bro? Move a friendly creature. Okay. Hi. Welcome to my lane. He wasn't even able to kill me. Oh, but Shadow Mirror. That's not a bad play. And he broke one of his little, uh, jemmies on the ringy ring. Alright. Here's what I do now. Split that. Split that. A little bit of a voracious spriggan drain action in the shadow lane, and then pilfer action in the field lane. So we'll see which one he wants to get rid of first. Let's he could possibly do both. Yep, he's got a firebolt in his hand now. Probably gonna go for the... Yep, Khajiit. As I would have done. That's, that's kind of sad. But, what can you do? So I'm gonna defend my drain creature, the one that lived with the Hive Defender, because it's going to be able to take this thing out and even live through an attack should it, should it decide to make one. So we're whittling this guy down relatively well. 26 to 32, but it's early in the game yet, I tell you that much. And I've got Manticore in my hands, which is a long way away from being able to be played. But when I do, when I do, it's going to flip some shit. I'll tell you that right now. I wish I would have played a Praetorian Commander first. But maybe it's going to be fine. Oh, he's got that Hex Mage, too. That's not going to be cool. Maybe I'll Piercing Javelin. Nah. Nah, I'll save that Piercing Javelin for something uh, a little bit more dooming. Unless he starts playing a bunch of action cards. Oh, see? That's the bunch of action cards I was talking about. Ah, <laughs> uh, but he's out of mana now. He got more zero cost manas, whatever. Alright, so now we've got Murkwater Witch. I got a Night Prowler as well. I don't have anything else to give more stealth to my Night Prowler. But I think I'm gonna play it. Because it won't. Oh, see that? Gloom Lurker's here now. It won't reduce my card count, which is really, really nice. So, he's probably going to take my Hive Defender down on the next turn, but that's okay. We're pushing our way through. I ain't gonna. I ain't gonna eat dirt today. No, sir! You might buy the pretty card backs, but I've got the, the deck building ability sometimes. Sometimes. It really depends on the matchup that you have and the draws that you get. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. Oh, he's got finish off! Shit. Well, that's, that's pretty unfortunate. Oh, well. It be what it be. I'll let him have his way, I suppose. Move a creature. Interesting choice. Yes! Now hit me so I can get my little rune. I want my Rooney rune. Andy Rooney. Oh boy. He's really hitting me. <laughs> Whoopsie. Well, I got both of my divine fervors. That's kind of nice. And a couple of Murkwater witches as well. So I'm going to pop that divine fervor up. And let's get this... Uh, this fella over here a little weaker. I would get rid of this Brutal Ashlander, but the last gasp ability is kind of scary for me. So I'm just going to weaken that. I think that should go relatively well. He's going to draw two cards if I hit him with the Night Prowler. Ah, fuck it. <laughs> ah, fuck it. Here, have it. That's great. He didn't have any Prophecy cards. Prophecy cards are so important. If I'm building an arena deck, I pick prophecy cards over just about anything else every single time. Hopefully I'm not going to get nailed by uh, some nasty spells this turn, because this match is almost over if I can uh, hold out for a little bit longer. He's looking for actions with the Ab Absian Navigator, but it ain't going to happen. I'll tell you that right now. And is he going to keep the Ashlander or no? Oh, give it lethal and ward. Fart. I should have played with my Gloom Lurker that turn. That's alright. That's alright. We're gonna be just fine. This Hex Mage is giving me a little bit of trouble, but I will take it out with Manticora if I have the opportunity. Which I might. Uh, this match might go a little bit longer than I thought. 
and it's back in this lane. Hey, welcome back. How's it going? How you living? That's great. So I'm thinking of taking down the Brutal Ashlander or the Absea Navigator with my next Murkwater Witch. Mmm, but it's hard to know. What's the right move? Dang. Dang! I've also got another Divine Fervor, so that's coming out on the next turn. Just so you know, I can get that plus two, plus two, which is just too damn sweet for words. Oh, and he's summoning. Much summoning will be done today. Are you going to hit me? Don't hit me. He's picking up the, the pace. He's picking up. He's hitting the gas. Oh, he's not going to hit me. All right. I guess he's not hitting the gas. Never mind. I take it all back. Divine fervor. More. More. More divine fervor. All right. So now the question is what to hit with my minus one, minus one. Oh, boy. I guess... I guess the Hex Mage. Probably the best choice. It's hard to say, really. It would be nice if I had a Sheer Point Dragon in here somewhere to help me out, but... Doesn't look like that's an option today. Well, he's at 8 hit points, I'm at 21, so I guess I'm relatively satisfied with my position. Especially with these Divine Fervors out. Ooh, boy! That's gonna be sweet! We going to eat! Sweet eating tonight, boy! Maybe. It can all turn around at the drop of a hat, depending on what he has in his hands. See, like that. <laughs> oh boy, I would have rather taken that to my face than uh, getting rid of my voracious Spriggan, but that's how it goes. Something was going to take it down this turn, I'm sure. It had already drained a lot of this dude's health. But now he doesn't have the uh, lethal creature on the board anymore, so that's something at least. But that brutal Ashlander in the other lane, he's got a friggin' Storm Atronarch. Oh boy! That's not gonna be good! And a High Rock Summoner. Getting some more of those Atronarchs out here. Fart, man. This is, this is not gonna be pretty. Well, I got another Voracious Spriggan, so that's nice. Um, I think I'm going to pierce and javelin this thing. Shazoom. Alright? Alright? Are we fucking square? And uh, I'll play East March Crusader. So if these guys live in the shadow lane, then I'll be able to take this dude down. No problem. I'll live through his next series of attacks. Oh wait, will I? 3, 6, 9, 10, 11. I should live with one health. <laughs> oh, this is close. Oh my goodness. I think, I think it's going to be fine. I think it's going to be awesome. I didn't even get to play Manticora. The match didn't go on that long. Come on. Yeah! There it is! There he is! Fighters Guild recruit! There he is! Sweet. He's got full mana still, so we'll see what happens with it. Ah, uh, he's got a guard card. That's fine. Hit the recruit. Flame Atronarch. It's gonna be too late. It's gonna be too late for you, friend! But this is a really close match. Holy shit. I almost lost it. I almost lost it! Everything uh, just got into place, though. It was very nice. Fell in exactly as I had hoped. And you saw the power of those divine fervors. Yes! Fear my might! Now he's like, what do I do with this last card? Uh, I don't know, bro. You can sacrifice it if you want. It's not really going to matter one way or the other. I'm going to send him Manticore next turn because that's going to be fun. <laughs> Get rid of that guard and then just uh, just plow his butt. Anyways, friends, uh, I'm not going to break his last runes because I don't want a chance of him getting a prophecy card. Oh, I have to actually because Manticore can't attack on the same turn. Duh. What if it had charge too? That would be fucking crazy. Ah, glad to have won a match for you. I hope this deck gave you some ideas. There it is! This was a worthy contest! I would have liked if he let me hit him, but that's alright. Sometimes you just gotta bow. That's alright, bow out. Yeah, I hope uh, you got some ideas and things like that of some different stuff that you're gonna be able to uh, do with your decks. Stealth is not used hardly at all, and I don't know why. It really does help to uh, get your creature just that, that one more turn that you might need to, to net the victory. Keep it on the field for long enough. 
Anyways, really good match. Uh, props to my opponent for sure. I hope that you guys will like, comment, and or subscribe if you did enjoy the episode, friends. Also, please uh, click some links in the description. That's always nice. We got Twitter, we got Discord, we got Patreon. Any of those that you'd like to support me on would be massively appreciated. Ah, we'll be back again with some more Elder Scrolls because it's better than I thought. I didn't do card games uh, very much on my channel, but who knows? That could change just a little bit. I'm really uh, enjoying these CCGs, I guess. Competitive card game instead of TCG because you can't trade them. Whatever. Anyways, friends, <laughs> once again, this has been the Elder Scrolls Legends. I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator. I shall see you in the next one. And until then, friends, bye bye Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friends.